Sorry, I have a mountain of work to do. Just keep it holstered. It's a tough town, but these are good people. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. If you're not listening... This isn't the Kila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. And the last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, nothing in Neon is free. Come on. Of how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. I learned quickly that a neon staying informed and staying alive and closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool had some random stranger step in and do the job he could. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, They'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. Hostages or not. There are two things you won't do in here. One, you don't mess with baby's money, and two, you don't take Aurora off the Well, you understand. That's why you just told me that you don't have a trap. 
Keep that in mind. You'll fit right in. Something fixed, but hey, order really? with such a service. Got a second? What? Oh, shoot. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of good ones, people. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Hmm. Huh. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? Whoa, 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 relax. No need to get rough here. Truth is, I'm scared enough as it is. I can help you. But right now, my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. The only one that matters around here, the Sayoka Syndicate. They pretty much run the city. That being said, Rumor has it that Emmett Goodman is on the outs, so they might not miss him much if he were to disappear. From where I'm standing, it seems like our problems are intertwined like a couple of fuel lines in a thruster assembly. I don't care how badly you need it. I'm not telling you. Makes sense. This isn't getting us anywhere. I'm sorry, but this is my life we're talking about. If you were in my position, I'm sure you'd feel the same. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. Sleep rates for rent. It's tight. I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the place shuts. private property. Do you now? I don't like your tone. You know what? You might be... Wait, no. What am I saying? You really think I care? Maybe you've got hearing problems. I don't know. 
I said you ain't getting in here, and I meant it. Now get lost! As long as you behave yourself and don't overstay your welcome, I don't see the harm in a quick visit. This will get you in. Well now, look here. Well now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are you? Such harsh words. You wound me. Have I loaned credits to help those in need? Certainly. But that's no crime. I'm well within my rights to collect my due. And if payment is late, penalties shall apply. That's where you're wrong. Cal agreed to my terms, including collection from family on the event of his passing. It ain't my fault he dragged Billy into it. But make no mistake, that's exactly what he did. What's your stake in this anyway? If you think I'm afraid of some loudmouth deputy, you've got a lot to learn. How about I save us both some time and deal with you right now? Who's there?
Goodman? I didn't mean to put you in harm's way. I was hoping he'd come around when you saw you were a Free Star Ranger deputy. It took me about a week on the job to learn that doesn't usually work around here. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. She's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Stay out of trouble. Star Ranger and his what are you a sidekick or something now that's what I call real conviction so how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the Ranger uh, this is the deputy's case is that so and you had to bring back up just for little old me <laughs> I'm flattered anyway this ain't my first interrogation so let's just get on with it Wow. Good for you. If that was supposed to impress me, it didn't. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? That's unfortunate. But I don't know anything about it. Can't say I'm surprised, though. You know how it is out here. The strong take what they want from the weak. You're real cold-blooded, aren't you? If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. It's not that simple. I think... Uh, you may be right. I guess if I can't trust a Free Star Ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the First, and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech, and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first and he offered half up front. Never met him directly though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? No. Nothing at all. Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. Works for me. 
Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Oh. Uh, you're welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Security! I can't remember if I already searched you. I must have, right? Let's go back to the station. <laughs> keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Deputy. Welcome to the rock. Our newest 
deputy. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? What? You serious? Well, that's a first. Well, I guess not everyone likes to have a good time. Speaking of which, on to business. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee and late nights ahead. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. You're counting on me. You know I outrank you, right? Please and thank you go a long way when addressing your betters, rookie. I need a word. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Grace Early? Yeah, I've heard the name once or twice. Sounds like you're making real progress. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. That's how a ranger should think. What did you learn from this starship thief? Well done, deputy. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. All right, how can I help? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now, looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome, so be careful. Good hunting, deputy.